What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM21 series where we look at the young town, or some of the young town, not all of them, on Foot Major and we see how the game reckons they'll get on the course of their careers and all these players are suggested by you guys the subscribers. So first of all don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for daily FM content. Also, check out the uh, social media links down below, including my, my, my Man United podcast, if you're a neutral fan or a Man United fan. If you're a rival fan, probably not for you. Um, and if you want to get your player on this series, just follow the following rules. First of all, check out the playlist, make sure he's not been done already. Second of all, check out the Google document down below in the description, make sure he's not been requested already and he's on his way to being done. And also leave as much info as you can and leave a maximum of two at one time. Though we are getting close to the end of the requests. There's this one and one more and then we're on to no, no requests. So now's the time to get your requests in because uh, be it'll be quite quick. What I may do is if I don't get requests in the next couple of days, uh, then I think after the next next episode that I do, which is another player I've been, I've been asked for, I will do my own player that I'm curious about, and then just so we've got an episode, you know, to keep going live and keep it going. Because uh, I'm enjoying these, and there, there are certain players that I want to look at and see how they get on this year. They're quite obvious players, but uh, I'm, just, I'm just curious myself. So, today's player is Gerald, Gerald Tavara. That could be right. He's Peruvian, which is, I think, the first time we've done a Peruvian player on this series. I don't recall one. Now, we've done quite a lot, though, to, a lot of players, to be fair. Um, he's a central midfielder, can play also in um, in Cam, if you wanted to. 17 figure taking, 16 long shots, 16 passing, and 16 technique. Looks very good. 160k valuation. Um, I'm not, for, some reason, he's not, for some reason, he's not done the scout report yet. So, we'll come back in a second, and we'll date with that scout report. And as if by magic, there is a scout report. So, as you can see, the cost is 600k and based on Man United of course so don't get worried about the fact that he's got a very low rating um, his potential is potentially three and a half star but it's definitely going to be two and a half star potential uh, strong attribute is free kicks he's good at set pieces campaign two positions uh, but he's very one footed must be come to marking not an issue because he's, he's going to be attacking attacking player so uh, the fee Obviously, bear that in mind. Um, meet the current, it won't meet the threshold, so bear that in mind. You can you can get in cheaper than that. You can get for like 650k, but bear that in mind if you're going to sign him. Um, look at his let's look, look at his profile here. No player traits. Technically, it looks fantastic. I would, based on the fact he's got li li little, very little strength, stamina, um, and balance, I would probably play more advanced. The long shots, I want him to the pitch and free kicks and corner kicks. So very definitely set his master. Um, for you guys. Um, so yeah, let's go for the first jump guys and let's see how he gets on and uh, if you move and where, where, where he moves to if anywhere. All right, folks, he's now at Southampton, 25 years old. He's moving to Alinzi. Where's he moving to? So back to Peru, okay. Um, he's a fringe player, but again, what we've, what I think we're going to see a pretty stable player. We're going to see a lot of um, the technical stats are actually near on perfect actually. I mean, you look at the stats that are low. The only one I'd be worried about, really, well, only two I'm worried about, really, are the finishing and the crossing. Even that, I'm not that worried about it, really. Corners, dribbling, first touch, three kicks, long shots, passing, and technique, and point of taking and vision. You know what? There's nothing. It's not worrying me. Um, I think for a cheap deal, the only issue is the work permit problem um, early on. But that's you know can be you know one of those things. He is getting slowly getting cuts from Peru. Um, injury records, have a look. Pretty damn good there for me personally. Once I get to the, the quick sip. There we go. Um, two ones out injured here. That's later on his career. And he's 21 years old at the start, which is a bit older than we usually do. So let's have a look how he's got on at Southampton then. So they're going 500k. And they've got one assist that season. And then he's not he missed around a little bit too much. Now, I did say last episode that I would do, I do, I, I would do two run throughs of a player that's happened. And I did. Uh, this guy just stayed like this. There was the thing about it is the only thing that really can increase on him is his physicality, maybe, which is still got his mental mental stats. But that comes from coaching more and natural, you know what I mean. So the technicals, you're not going to get much better than that. I don't think he's going to get much better. Um, I think mentally, again, that could maybe change. You work on certain things and mentor him and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I like I like this guy for a, if you look, if you if you're looking for a, a good player on the budget 
then he's for you. But again, the work permit could be a problem. Um, but then again, not everyone manages in England, do they? So I based out of England. So, you know, that, that's one of those things. So, yeah, let, one more player trait, page one, two. This is weak foot. We saw in the review, he didn't look at it really. He's very weak on his right foot. Um, so let's continue, guys, and see if he comes back to Europe or if he kind of nails it in, like, the proving, the proving League again. Right, guys, in Peru, and you see here technicals have increased and also a slight increase in uh, some of the physical stats. Same player traits. Uh, this, yeah, it's what we thought. It's what I thought would happen. The technical stats said they like the same all the way through. He's actually a good player. He really is. I think the only problem is his work permit issue uh, could be an issue for Premier League, um, in my opinion. But I love the technicals. He, he, I'm trying to think of the mind. There's a certain player that he reminds me of. I want to say how much Rodriguez. I'm not saying the same level, but you know, like my I'm not, I'm not I haven't his stats recently because like, I'm not signing for years on FM. But he was one of those players. Who, there was another one at Porto, wasn't there? It was a Quintero who was like that, just like insane technical ability, but then li very limited physical. I'm sure maybe both of them actually, to be fair. But yeah, technically, yeah, fantastic. Mentally, yeah, not really, not not amazing, not not poor. Physically. Got better as he got older. So like I said, these will increase as they get older. Um I like him. I like I like him a lot. Um slightly worrying about two more injury there, but again, I don't think it's really his, his ability to develop. And he's been getting a bit more game time in Peru. He got one of five, then got four and two in this season. Um, he's got three assists. Um so yeah, he's good. I mean obviously um I don't think we I don't think if we did do a second run through this guy we would see much more um, because I think the technical is what you I think you obviously get technical abilities mainly in physical and I think what we'd probably get is the same thing again these corners first touches free kicks and that kind of thing staying quite strong and then maybe a slight increase in these areas not worth doing the run through really I don't think um, like I said before I do try and do two run throughs I do, I do try and do two run throughs unless it's obvious that you know what I mean? That you know what I mean? That this is like, well, is he really gonna get much better than this based on how you know what I mean? I, I don't think he would, on my in my opinion. But then again, you guys can influence that yourselves. Right. One foul jump, guys. I want to see if he can get dual figures into the goals as it's combined. And again, finishing it off pretty stable with his um technical stats there. Ooh, that's biography, not that. Um so yeah, injuries, meh, not terrible in my opinion but then it's all it's all subjective see here pretty much stable same as oh how many he got four goals and two assists that year three assists two and three one and five four assists so yeah i think you know, the plus side is great technical build technical stats cheap at the start of the game um downside could be the fact that maybe he doesn't have the great physical attributes that you maybe would, would like to see in your save and if you're in Premier League at the start of the game, the, the work permit could be an issue. But you guys all do different saves, so I'm I'm, I'm pretty so I'm pretty sure someone watching this, somebody watching this will do a save in a real obscure league. I, I'm not think I'm not thinking of, and this is maybe the guy we're looking for. Which is why I do this series, guys. Not every play we're gonna do clearly will be um, for the Premier League top four clubs. Some of these players maybe for other people, and that's what I love about this series is. It help, everyone can affect this series. Everyone can get involved and just players. Um, and obviously, um, I look forward to hearing or seeing more requests from you guys. So I'm gonna leave it there. Like I said, in the in the description is linked to the schedule, for the rules, two at a time, and all the information, all that stuff I mentioned before. Uh, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for daily content as well. Uh, next episode is another request. After that, there's at the moment of recording this. I'm recording this which is on the 30th of the of december there are no requests put for, put forward if that maintains it obviously i've said i will then jump on with my requests of players that i've got an idea of and but obviously like i've always said as well your players will get priority over mine so as much as i can do it quick as i can your players will get moved further to, further to the front of the queue so if i do two or three players on that list and i make a schedule of two or three of my own players and then you make a request as quick as I physically can record it your player will be moved forward ahead of my request and then so on and so on and so on um, so yeah um, thanks for watching folks see you all next time thank you so much for supporting the channel and I'll see you all next time bye bye